Jesus, 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 sweetest name I knew, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Good morning. How y'all doing today? It is Saturday, March the 12th. Can you believe it's a weekend already? Today, we're look at part two of the spiritual gift of all things. Remember, we began yesterday in Acts chapter 17, verse 24 through 25, which says, God, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything, since he gives to all life, breath, and all things. Yesterday we ended with the fact that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit made all things. Today, I want to start off showing that Jesus, when he walked on the earth, received all things. Jesus said in Luke chapter 10, verse 22, All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and the one to whom the Son, reveal, the Son wills to reveal him. You see here that Jesus wants to reveal all things to us. Even the author of Hebrews says in Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 through 4, God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had made him set, which, excuse me, when he had made, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, having become so much better than the angels, as he, by inheritance, obtained a more excellent name than they. Jesus says in John chapter 16, verse 15, by saying, All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore, I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. How will God declare all things to us? Through Holy Spirit. Since Jesus was able to receive all things, he is able to reveal all things to us. In John chapter 4, verse 25, when Jesus met the woman at the well, this says, the woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. So you see, even the Samaritans knew that the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, would reveal all things. Jesus says in John 15, verse 15, No longer do I call you servants. For a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father I have made known to you. He tells us that even when he has left the earth, we will still be able to know all things. John chapter 14 verse 26, he says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Since Jesus and the Holy Spirit can reveal all things to us, 
there are many things that will benefit us. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, it says, But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. He says something similar in Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Paul echoes this in Romans 8.28 when he says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Since all things are possible to him who believes, Paul urges us in Ephesians 5 verse 20 to give thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul has a special, a special message for Timothy and for us in 1 Timothy 6 verses 12 through 17. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I urge you in the sight of God who gives life to all things and before Christ Jesus who witnessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate that you keep this commandment without spot blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ appearing, which he will manifest in his own time. He who is blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, dwelling in unapproachable light, whom no man has seen or can see, to whom be honor and everlasting power. Amen. Command those who are rich, in this present age, not to be haughty, nor to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who gives us richly all things to enjoy. God gives life in all things, and he wants us to enjoy all things. Finally, the Apostle John gives us some good news in Revelation 21, verses 1 through 7. He says, Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them, and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall, no, there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, there shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat before the or he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write for these words are tr uh, right, for these words are faithful and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. So not only can we receive all things, we can have an eternal inheritance if we do what God has called us to do. So that wraps it up for today. Tomorrow, we will look at the gift of sure mercies of David. Big thank you for those who've subscribed already. And I just ask that you would be able to or be willing to share these videos with your friends and family, either on YouTube or on Facebook. Let us pray. Father God, we are so thankful that you have given us all things, Lord God. 
Teach us how to use what you have given us, Lord God. Teach us to minister to others, to serve others as you have called us to do. Father God, we ask for your, um, for your healing power to flow through our friends and our family that are sick, Lord God, and for the people of Ukraine, Lord God, that are injured. Father, we ask that you would heal their bodies, Lord God, that they would give you all the praise and the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all have a great day today, okay? Mm -hmm.